You know this cookie's for the bag Kitty, kitty, baby, get her things to rest Cause you done beat it like the 68 Jets I used uh, Adobe Premiere. I like to do a little weekend editing. I recently just cut three minutes out of uh, Goodfellas. There is no Kaiser Soze. The greatest trick ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. Kaiser Hi everyone, I'm Vinnie Hobbs. I'm a video editor. I do feature films, documentaries, and music videos. But today I'm gonna talk mostly about music videos and how I use Adobe Premiere to execute these edits. So I'm gonna dive right in right now and talk about one of my favorite videos of the year. Um, it's by an artist named Future called Mask Off. And this was nominated for best editing at the MTV Video Music Awards. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I approach that edit process and kind of the roadblocks we hit and just kind of how we came to terms with how to really finalize this edit. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin with what I did when I received this huge mountain of footage and it was pretty overwhelming at first, but I'm gonna talk about how I kind of chiseled that down in a way where I could really understand the footage and maximize each frame that was given to me. So the first thing I did was I literally just scrubbed through each frame, each clip, and made a, a separate timeline for selects. So basically, if anything struck me in any type of way, anything that was cool looking, anything that could support the story, I just dragged it down to my selects timeline. And as you can see, I have about 15 minutes of usable selects, and these all need to be chiseled down into three minutes and 20 seconds. So that was a challenge for me. But making the selects timeline really helped me hone in and concentrate on what I needed to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through everything I had. And while I did this, it kind of sparked new ideas. Um, it was really hard to put all this footage into three minutes and 20 seconds. It was just really hard. So I was able to create an intro to kind of create this type of world, um, an apocalyptic world, like, the, like everything was crumbling. So I was able to create an intro with sound design and visual effects. And I felt like that did a good job on maximizing the footage to really make this a cinematic piece um, instead of just a standard music video. So I'm gonna show how I used some of this footage to create an intro that wasn't intentionally planned and how I kind of did that to create the world. Now, all the clips you're seeing right now are just really hard to squeeze into the actual music and the pace of the song. So with that being said, I feel like that did a good job on kind of setting the audience up for kind of this crazy tone that the video has and the, what the song has. 
and it really helped me use the rest of the footage for the actual song where there were like faster beats, faster cuts, and everything like that. And if you don't know this video, I'll play a little sample of how this is. I'm gonna bust the move, they gon' put it. Reed James, 33 chains, 33. Oh Chanel, cruising big scan, hit for top pop, yeah. That's a liability, big fun. Hit the gang, gang. Boosting my adrenaline, big fun. Purchase it. So that was a really fun edit, and when it was all said and done, uh, me and the director were really happy with it, and it just so happened to get nominated for best editing. So I'm really proud of this one. So I'm going to move on to the next video, and this was also a personal favorite. Uh, the song is called Wild Thoughts uh, by DJ Khaled and Rihanna and Bryson Tiller. And if you don't know this video, I'll play a little bit so you can get familiar. Spinning in his matches like he came from Maytag. Rock up and sit on the brown liquor. Then I get like this, I can't be around you. I'm too lit to dim down a notch. Cause I can into some things that I'm gonna do. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. When I wish you all I get is wild thoughts. So, of course, the, the song being so good helped um, the editing process. Uh, but I'll tell you a little bit of the challenges that I faced uh, during this edit. Here's one section where I gave it, I guess you could say, a classic cut. And I'll play a little sample of that right now and give you a before and after. Go! go. I hope you know my father's tag. You know this cookie's for the bag. Kitty, kitty, baby, get her things to rest. Like, 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 like the 68 Jets. Down. So I guess we can call that just classic hard cutting. And sometimes that's very appropriate for certain videos. But for this one, I felt like we could push it even further. And using the tools inside Premiere really allowed me to kind of expand that creativity. And one night, I just kind of just stayed up all night and really started flirting with the effects, the transitions, the filters, and came up with something cool. I showed it to the director, and he liked it and we just kept it rolling. So I'm gonna show you what happened after that all-nighter I spent. It's a little, little taste. Go! I hope you know for the tag. You know this cookie's for the bag. Kitty, kitty, baby, get her things to rest. Like, 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 like the 68 Jets. Diamonds and nothing when I'm rockin' with ya. Diamonds and nothing so there's little effects like that that I feel like really enhanced the edit and kept people engaged um, and really felt the music even harder. And I thought that was pretty cool. The director also liked it, and it ended up making it to the final cut. So that was pretty cool. And this was also nominated for Video of the Year at the MTV VMAs. So we were pretty proud of that. I'm going to dive into another video that is actually in the rough uh, process. As you can see, this timeline is pretty ugly right now. Um, it goes up to about 90, 83 layers of performances, selects, all that jazz. So I had a lot to do with on this, but this has actually been uh, one of the most fun edits I've worked on this year. And I'm going to show a little bit about that creative process and what me and the director did to take this to a whole new level. So there are a few shots right here. It's very raw. so. I'm going to show you some before and after clips of this video. So I sent this out to VFX and we got them back and I'll play it. I'll play the before and after. So after we started bouncing ideas off each other, me and the director, we ended up keeping it going. So as the video progresses, we have a scene where Bryson is on a jet ski. And the raw footage looks like this. Free, I just want a yacht and a jet ski. Pull up on your block, I see hot Wayne Gretzky. And that's cool in itself, it's kind of a creative idea, but I thought it would be cool if there were actually waves 
and water underneath the jet ski. So I sent those out to VFX, we received those, and I thought it looked a lot cooler looking like this. I just want a yacht and a jet ski. Pull up on your block, icy hot Wayne Gretzky. I pull up, pull up, still rough. All this boy, you scared cheap. So once that started happening, it just sparked a whole new set of ideas. So we finalized it at the end by having him in our tornado setup. Here's the before and after of this. It's a pretty decent shot in itself, but I just knew we could take it even further. And it ended up looking like this when we finalized. And I'll just, let me go back to that. As you can see, the before and after. These subtle details make a world of a difference. And I think it's these little details like this that really bring videos to the next level. And even though they're small, I feel like they go a long way. So being able to collaborate with VFX artists, colorists, and being able to communicate with the director properly really can take videos to the next level. So I'm going to move on to another video that I absolutely loved editing. And this was uh, Kanye West with Schoolboy Q. It's called That Part. And I'm going to show you kind of how I enhanced this video a little bit using speed ramps and the tools that Adobe Premiere has to offer inside. So I'm going to show you before right now. Four seasons, take a shower, new clothes, I'm reloaded. <laughs> Rich, still eating catfish. <laughs> that thing really bad, that's a catfish. <laughs> if I walk up out of Sassman, <laughs> how the Papa Rossi doing backflips? <laughs> if I lay you down on the mattress, <laughs> blow the back out. Now, this was a one take shot, and I know we were supposed to let that live and let the cinematography live and really highlight that. But I knew that we could take it even further by using some of the tools inside Premiere, like the speed ramp tool. And when I started playing around with that, it ended up looking like this instead. Okay. Four seasons, take a shower, new clothes, I'm reloaded. <laughs> Rich, still eating catfish. <laughs> that thing really bad, that's a catfish. <laughs> if I walk up out of Sassman, <laughs> how the paparazzi doing backflips? <laughs> if I lay you down on the mattress, <laughs> blow the back out to your backless. <laughs> Think we already established. <laughs> She just got him done, bra strapless, yeah? Okay, 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 okay. That part. Beggars can't be choosers, this ain't your partner. That part. With an attitude, I feel like O'Shea. That part. Walking, living legend, man, I feel like Kobe. That part. Me. I just so it was cool to hear that Kanye really liked his section of the video. And I think uh, that was partly due to the cool effects that we added for his part. So let's see. Also, as an editor, I feel like you need to bring new things to the table. One thing I say is uh, don't be a uh, software editing operator. I feel like uh, you need to actually be an editor with a mind that can offer new ideas and bring new things to the table. I feel like directors really appreciate that. And when they hire an editor, they actually want those new fresh ideas to be brought to the table. And I think one of the things is uh, using sound and the sound effects inside Premiere that can really take things to the next level. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I've worked on that really brought videos to the next level with sound. Myself the stripes I got making myself realize what my foundation was. But 
while my loved ones was fighting a continuous war back in the city, I was entering a new one. A war that was based on apartheid and discrimination. And that was part of the intro for the Kendrick Lamar All Right video, and I feel like that really set it off and brought it to a whole new level as well. And we're almost out of time here, so I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys off with a time lapse of one of my favorite music videos of all time, um, which is Kendrick All Right. And I'm going to show you a time lapse of how I edited that video in three days. We had a really tight deadline on that, but using uh, certain techniques like the pancake, um, I'll show you real quick what that is. I can drag this timeline down here and have two separate timelines on top of each other. And let's say I just need to kind of move and groove in the edit and I need to drag clips up, drag clips down. I can have two timelines on top of each other and literally just kind of play dominoes with everything. Let's see, I don't want to cover everything. But you know, there's the clip right there and I can just undo it if I don't like it, drag another clip up, boom, right there. And using that technique really allows me to just create tunnel vision, focus on the creativity of editing and move a lot faster. And that really helped for this Kendrick Lamar video. So I'm going to show you how that works in a second. Where are you? OK. Again, my name is Vinny Hobbs. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. Thank you.